Uh, so we, most of you probably already know that the uh, metal nanoparticles present uh, unique optical properties because of the localized surface plasma resonance, and the most interesting part is the optical properties can be modulated just by changing different parameters. For instance, uh, an important parameter is the dielectric function of, of, of the metal. In our case, we are uh, interesting metals such as gold, silver, uh, palladium, and copper because the, these optical properties are located in the visible in the near infrared region. So, but uh, another in, interesting parameter is the particle morphology and uh, size because just modulating those parameters, we are able to modulate the, the optical properties. For instance, you can see here just the optical properties of gold nanoparticles with different morpholo morphologies. And you see that the optical properties uh, goes in from 400 nanometers till the near in infrared region. So apart from that, also we can modulate just by changing the surrounding medium. Here uh, you can see the optical properties of gold octahedra deposit on glass, and we just impregnate those nanoparticles uh, uh, with different solvents. And you observe the modulation in the optical response. And finally, also we can modulate these optical properties just playing with the distance between nanoparticles. What you can see here is in, the, in this case we have individual nanoparticles uh, dispersed in water, but just by the addition of some molecules we are able to assemble the nanoparticles and you observe this huge change in the optical response. The point is that um, using uh, chemical uh, processes, we are able uh, to uh, modulate the size and the shape of, of nanoparticles. Just um, to let you know, because most of you, or probably you are physics, is um, uh, we use um, a chemical uh, reduction method that involves the uh, reduction of a metal precursor with a reducing agent that uh, gives electrons to the metal precursor in the presence of a ligand that provides chemical stability. So so what happened is, uh, is in a first step and, uh, is produced the nucleation and the formation of tiny metal nanoparticles. And then in a further step, those tiny nanoparticles grow till the final morphology and size. And these uh, two steps are very important, but the point is if we don't control very well the conditions, both steps occur simultaneously. And this means that at the end we have very um, uh, polydispersed nanoparticles in terms of size and morphology. But uh, nowadays, we can use a strategy to try to, to uh, separate both, uh, these two steps, and is using what is called a seeded growth method. First, we, um, we synthesize these tiny uh, nanoparticles, and then in a controlled manner, I mean in a different uh, uh, reaction, we overgrowth slowly.